the last video we looked at um, adding a pattern to the footer or changing the footer and how to engage with your users by adding or upselling products as a, an afterthought in the footer. So we also discussed things like gotchas that you may come across and how to resolve them or troubleshoot them. So this is kind of like an extension to that. Um, the, I'm going to go through some more gotchas and how to resolve them or how to think about fixing them. So what I want to do is just to navigate around my site and have a look, see what's going on. Um, because we've made changes in places we've probably affected other things. So we can see there that we've got a, an issue with spacing. And if we look at our checkout, again, we've got an issue with spacing here. And if I look at my shop, again, we've got some issue with spacing. Now this is a result of changing the block space to achieve uh, the butting of colors between our patterns on the front page. So we think, okay, well, all we need to do is to just add that back in. So if I go to my full site editing, So change my product catalog and I come back to my global styles. And again, your global styles initially is going to uh, allow you to change the settings across the whole site for all of your typography, all of your colors and all of your layout. So the block spacing that we changed for the front page is actually in layout. So if we go to layout, we can see block spacing is set to zero. If we put that up, we can see that we've addressed the spacing issue for our breadcrumb. If we go ahead and save that. And then we pop to our front page because we like to break things and test things. And we'll see that we've introduced the block spacing between our patterns again. We don't want to do that. So if we take the block spacing back to zero, save that back, and then pop back to our product catalog template. And we think, well, how do we adjust pushing this uh, breadcrumb away from the header? Well, we know that the header is a template part. So what we can do, and the template part is used in a template. So if we change the template part, that will ripple through the whole site. So if we go to our header and then we go to our group and we think, well, all we need to do is to go to the settings for that group and then just change the padding or margin. Now, if you remember, padding adds space inside the element and margin pushes elements away from the element that you're changing. So we probably want to change the margin bottom because we want to push the elements away from our header. So if we do that, we can see that the breadcrumb now is pushing away from our header. So if we save that, and again, what we want to do is just jump back to our front page, test that we've not broken anything else, and we have. So how do we get rid of that? So we probably want to take that change out. So we go back to our header and group, and we go back to our settings. We just take that margin back to zero, save that. And then we can go back to our product. Apologies for jumping around so much, but so we go back to our product catalog template. So what we would think to do is, okay, well, all we need to do is we need to change the global styles for this block, which is the breadcrumb block. We can tell that by we looking at our list view, we see it's the breadcrumb block. So if we click on the breadcrumb block and we go to our global styles, we can then, rather than changing the root level of all of our site, we can go to individual blocks and change the style of those blocks. So if we look for breadcrumb, we can go and change the margins and dimensions of that breadcrumb block. And we look for the settings and we don't have any. Now the backdrop to that is basically when developers develop blocks, they can enable or disable certain settings for those blocks. And there's good reason for them doing that. Um, it may well be that it's it can't be changed on a global basis. Um, or whatever, or it may just be underdeveloped. So one way to get around that is to actually go to your element that you want to add a setting to, and you can go to the breadcrumb block and you can just put it in a group. And by doing that, it will nest the breadcrumb within this group, and then you can then change the group settings. So if we go to the group block styles, and we can then go to not gonna change, we're not gonna push elements away. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna space the group uh, margin. So we want to add space inside the element. So we want to put padding top and bottom and that addresses that. Now probably the best thing to do here would be actually to create a reusable pattern so that you can then add this pattern to all of your other templates because at the moment we're just changing the product catalog template but we actually want to apply that to all of our other templates so it would make sense to change that into a pattern which is a reusable pattern that is synced. And by synced, it will be any changes you make to the sync pattern will be reflected everywhere that it's been used. So for instance, 
now if you went to your product by category template we can see that we can remove this block and we can actually replace it with our synced pattern which is called our breadcrumb so now if we ever make changes to the actual pattern the, the spaces in there it will ripple through wherever we've used it in this template so we don't need that breadcrumb template there anymore so we can get rid of that one and now this is coming from our synced pattern so the next thing we want to do is you want to go to our product catalog again and this time we want to address our archive title so again we're on our product template or product catalog template we know that this is used on other templates so we probably do want to change the global style for this block so again like we did with the breadcrumb we go to our global styles blocks and then search for what we know this block called is archive title so we'll look for archive title and it doesn't come up because it doesn't exist now in situations like that the easiest thing to do is to rather than um, try and figure out what that is you can go to your global styles and then you can go to blocks and then wherever you click on a block it will dynamically change the setting to that global styles setting for that block so like we can do on the breadcrumb that will take us to the global styles settings for that breadcrumb block we click on archive title and it takes us to title uh, query title which is not what we expect it to be called is archive title so that's one way of navigating through to find the actual block setting that you want to change so again all we need to do is to change the margin of the bottom because we want to push all the other elements away so we're going to change the margin bottom and we can address it like that now again we're using notices so we want to do that on a global level we don't want to change it on just on one template so we would expect to click this and then go to our notices global style setting so we click on that and it doesn't change so just to ensure that we are navigating through our global style settings we click on a product image and we we are changing so click back on the notices and it doesn't change so again developers may choose not to have any settings for a block and again it will be for good reason what that is i don't know or it may not be developed yet so if we go to the settings we can see that on our store notices it doesn't have any settings now i know that this is a dynamic block and it changes depending on different conditions depending on what the user does so again that would be good reason why that probably doesn't have any settings so all you need to do again similar to the breadcrumb just drop that into a group and then you can change the group and again probably create a synced pattern and then use that across all of your templates so that was a very quick brief um, video on global styles and some troubleshooting and how to address issues that you might come across when you don't have certain settings if you've liked this video please do give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section if you like these videos and you want to see more please do subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks very much for watching